The president made a surprise visit to the so-called Vision 2016 rice farms in Brikamaba, which until his departure for Equatorial Guinea, former President Jami had earmarked for large-scale rice production to feed the country. The place looked deserted compared to the old days when women farmers would storm this vast expanse of arable land as volunteers to work whenever Jami visits. This time only the farm coordinator and a handful of workers greeted President Barrow, who has still not decided what to do with one of the most extravagant projects of the Jami era. When the former head of state was leaving this country, he left a message that I should manage this, uh, this uh, farm. And uh, we see that it is important for us to manage it because there are a lot of women who are involved, a lot of people are involved. He created employment for them. Based on that, we decide to be part of it. Uh, we are not gaining nothing out of it, but we want to just keep on running, and uh, then people will be engaged. But however, hinted that he will involve the Chinese to help exploit the potentials these fields provide, as they had a good track record during their time as technical advisors in the First Republic. We have a meeting with the Chinese some time ago. We are telling them about this Jackali Pacha. Well, the Chinese we are here in the 70s. They are doing very well. And I know they have improved now. They have a new method of farming, mechanized farming, that can make it more easier and more effective. So we believe that we will have a technical team from China that can come and help in this farm. And I think that will go a long way in the terms of food security. Major Sidi Balde, the farm's coordinator, remains as committed to the farm as ever. And given the change in circumstances, believes that production can be increased beyond current levels if government invests in the farm. We need mechanized farming, that is tractors, machinery, to boost our efforts. For now, he is working hard to keep the farm running, doing what he has been doing. The only difference now is that he does not have the luxury of hundreds of volunteers providing free labor. The major is now trying to make the farm viable by selling the produce in the market to sustain daily operations. We are going to feed ourselves and then be able to export rice. Because you can see we are bagging and then we are selling, selling it in the market. With Jame gone, he is not a sort of constant flood of money to sustain a venture that was used more for political and economic exploitation than to produce for domestic and international consumption. Momo Dijalo, GRTS News.